Hey everybody, welcome to today's YouTube video. Title and thumbnail say we got a cheat day. Pretty much gonna be probably the annual cheat day moving forward. I haven't done a cheat day since, I think what, ended prep maybe? Probably was the last time I did it. But we got a birthday coming up on Monday. It's Saturday now, so why don't as well celebrate today. Since Monday, I'm gonna start a fitness challenge as well as a new diet, that kind of thing. So we're gonna do a cheat day today. We're at a new place I've never been to, a local place called Marcella's Donuts. So we're gonna head inside, pick out some donuts, give those a taste test, and then, honestly, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna eat the rest of the day, but I'll definitely keep you guys posted. But first things first, donuts, because we got the, the cheat day polo on. As you can see, there's a donut on it. So that's our first meal. For a second I did. So we got our donuts here. I will say it was slim pickings because it's what, 10, 10 a.m., right? I don't know. Something it's about like 10 a.m. and they open at 6 a.m. We actually went to one store. They didn't have cronuts, which is what I really wanted to try because I've never had a cronut before. So we actually drove down the road to another location and we got one of everything that they had left. And that's pretty much exactly what we have here. They got, I will say, I crullers are one of my favorites, which is great. I'm not exactly sure. I hope this is a Boston cream. Looks like it is. They got raspberry filled, a little bit of everything. But one thing I've never had is the cinnamon, or in this case, any kind of cruller. So I'm going to go ahead. No, yeah, what did I say? Oh, that's the cruller. Yeah, the cronut. So I'm going to do this a quick taste test. It's so attractive. You see the, the layers. Mm. Oh yeah, it's definitely not focused. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually really good. It definitely is a lot more airy. Like you bite into it and you just have like, there's just so much air, but it tastes really good. Mm. That's so funny. You take like the most dramatic big bites ever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna taste one. Also, we're at Best Buy right now, you guys can see. Because I need to get a watch for my challenge that I'm just gonna start in May or not May, in April. So we're going there to try on some watches and I don't know if I actually buy one here, maybe order one off Amazon. But I'm gonna try one more. I'm gonna try the raspberry real quick. I knew it. <laughs> Cause I do like a filled, and see the raspberries yeah, filled right gross there. Yeah, and he likes a filled donut. <laughs> I think it's like, it rhymes Oh my God, the haters are gonna come for me. It's like a black raspberry <laughs> chip too because of like, Grater's black raspberry chip. Yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Mm. I'm just, I was, <laughs> didn't zoom in on it yet. That's so I'm good. I'm just watching you stare at the donut. Oh That's my wild. God. Mm. I've had donut in so long. That's fantastic. We're gonna run a Best Buy. We're gonna eat the rest of these when we go home. Also got chocolate milk, which I might very well drink as we <laughs> drive home. But yeah, um, Katie wants to try, which one? Maple. All right. All right, All right Katie, what are we working with? Uh, maple. I haven't woken up yet. So. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? It's fine. Basic yeast donut. How's the maple topping? Any good? No, that's why I was saying it was fine. It's not bad. It's just like not overly mapley. And when I when I eat these. I like it to be an explosion of maple. It looks like a lot of donut and like a th very thin layer it's of exactly maple. exactly what it tastes like. Yeah. And no bacon. I feel like normally maple bacon's like very common. You don't like bacon? Not Wait. on a donut. Interesting. I thought you've had that before, but just the maple. <laughs> yeah. And I will say these have also probably <laughs> been out since like 6 a.m. I don't know how many batches they cook. So these are probably like four hours old, but. That's okay. I'm going to try one of the, whatever you just called it. Crueler or the cronut. What's. That? That's the crueler. Yeah, the honey crueler, I think. Honey? I think, well, I don't know. Maybe just a crueler with some powder on there. Never had one. It looks like um, funnel cake. Oh, it does, Does yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably, like, <laughs> I don't remember what funnel cake looks like. A super light like. funnel cake. It looks really airy. Wait. What? I don't like that. You don't? Mm -mm. Why? What does it taste like? Let me try it. Like, I don't know. It's kind of wet in the middle. Oh, that is weird. I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like that either. <laughs> okay, and a bite of this. <laughs> this looks like a regular donut. It's just like the layers, I guess, kind of make it... Mm. It's supposed to be like layered like a croissant. So like a Do I have anything on my lips? No, you're good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we're heading to Best Buy, and then we'll come back when we get home for some donuts. 
more donuts. <laughs> but the kid Aww. loves her. She never looks. She never looks into the lens. Maisie. Takes your soul. Oh, there it is, kind of. <laughs> Call her again. Maisie. She just likes Katie too much. <laughs> and per usual, we bought way more donuts than we need. Um, I don't know why I always do that, but I'm always like, oh, I want to try a bunch of different ones. And I honestly am already full of donuts. I did have the rest of the raspberry filled one on my way back, which was actually probably my favorite one so far. But we also have a Boston cream to try and then also a cinnamon. So we're gonna try the cinnamon to start. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna give this a try. I feel like cinnamon's always an easy kind of win. Tastes better heated up, I think. Not too bad. And then, yeah. Try the Boston cream. It does look a little bit more whipped creamy than like cream cream, but. Oh. Mm-hmm. There's a super, super light like whipped cream texture more so than like a typical Boston cream, but chocolate's good, donut's good. Honestly, I'm just, don't want any more sugar right now. <laughs> the fact that I'm gonna to try to go work out here in a second, I'm honestly probably gonna try a sumo orange. So, yeah, we're gonna follow up the donuts with a sumo orange, and then I am gonna go ahead change, probably go to the gym, get a workout in, and then figure out what I'm gonna eat for lunch. Still not exactly sure, kinda of just go with whatever I'm craving at that point. But for now, yeah, we got a whole bunch of donuts here that, I don't know, probably won't get touched and we'll end up throwing away, but um, yeah, it is what it is. But decent start to the day. I will say that raspberry filled is definitely by far my favorite. We're gonna down this orange here and I'll see you guys at the second meal of the day. And for our second meal of the day, just finished a workout and now we're hungry and I'm craving Moe's, so that's where we are. In my opinion, the best fast food Mexican there is. I think it's better than Chipotle. I think it's better than Qdoba. Roast me down in the comments, but I think Moe's is by far the best in my opinion. So we're gonna head inside. They have this like, Basically, it's like a Crunchwrap Supreme, but like elevated in my opinion. So that's what we're gonna get. Not sure what Katie's gonna get. We're gonna get some chips, salsa, all the goods. Let's head inside and I'll show you guys what we get. So here we have what's called the stack. And like I mentioned, it's basically a Crunchwrap Supreme, but on steroids, because it is absolutely massive. I mean, this thing weighs, I would say like almost probably three pounds. And what they do, so they take a hard shell tortilla. So you have a soft shell, big one, a hard shell, little one, and then cheese. This is cheese that they actually threw down on the griddle and got nice and crispy, which is awesome. So that is fantastic. Double chicken, white rice, black beans, queso. Their queso is phenomenal. White queso. They don't charge you extra for queso. They don't charge you extra for chips. I think it is a baseline, like slightly higher, like $10 to start, but the chips are free and so is the queso on your actual meal, which is fantastic. So, I mean, this thing, oh, quick thumbnail. Should we get a thumbnail? <laughs> well, I'm gonna take a quick bite. Oh my gosh, this thing is huge. I don't even know where to attack it from. Oh my god, it's ginormous. <laughs> mm. So much goodness, especially from the, all the sugar this morning with the donuts. This is hitting the spot. So we're gonna dig in. Katie got herself a Big ass burrito. Big fat <laughs> burrito. Look at that thing. I'm so scared to eat it. This thing, hefty, not as heavy as mine, but definitely hefty. What'd you get? Queso and chicken? Yeah. So we're gonna and dig in. Other stuff, but... And then, yeah, I'm thinking definitely gotta get ice cream tonight. Not sure what else. Maybe some pizza. We'll kind of figure that game plan out. But yeah, gonna eat this right now. Post workout meal. I'll see you guys at dinner. And that is a wrap on the meal. Everything's flying around. Literally, I mean, hit the spot. As I mentioned before, the best fast food-ish customizable Mexican there is out there. Plus, they have a salsa bar. I didn't even mention that to you guys. You can literally just go up and fill your own salsa. It looks like Katie got, what's yours? Like some green, green salsa. She's still working away on her burrito. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, fantastic. Could not have asked for a better post workout meal on a cheat day. Nice little lunch. We're gonna hang out outside, let Katie finish up. We're gonna go home, take Maisie for a nice long walk. And then, yeah, pretty much just hang out until dinner time. I think Chris and Scott might come over and watch some basketball because March Madness is going on. Probably maybe order some pizzas, get some ice cream, all kind of good stuff. But until then, that is a wrap on lunch, post-workout meal. Also, the heaviest I've ever been was this morning, 184 in the morning, which I've never weighed in my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> Even the last bulk. So this is definitely gonna probably, honestly, tomorrow morning might be like the heaviest I've ever weighed, depending on how much I eat tonight. 
but yeah, <laughs> it's kind of crazy. But we're also gonna go ahead and dial in. April is gonna be, um, as I mentioned, a fitness challenge as well as kind of like a new diet. I'm gonna start on Monday or try it out for a week. And I definitely will make a video on and obviously share for you guys on YouTube, stuff like that. But yeah, hopefully we can maintain the mid 180s until we start our cut in May. And then hopefully reveal a little bit more muscle we've built in the last couple of months. And then just, yeah, get healthy again. Cause right now, not the healthiest, but definitely you guys kind of have to push the calories to push the weight to also get the strongest I've ever been. So it's kind of one of those things where like the heaviest I've ever been, but also the strongest I've ever been. So hopefully it means the most muscle I've ever had. So we're gonna like hopefully find that balance as we cut for this summer. But yeah, enough of that. I'll definitely make a whole video on that kind of stuff. But that is lunch. We go take Maisie for a walk. because It is so nice out. I mean, it is what, 73 degrees. Yeah. Barely any clouds in the sky. Super, super nice. I'm honestly warm with my joggers. Um, but yeah, it is just a great day. Donuts this morning, definitely a little bit too much <laughs> sugar, but I did have a, have a PR at the gym today, so maybe donuts and PRs go together. I think it's more so just the fact that I am heaviest I've ever been. Hit the uh, 115s on the dumbbell bench press for two sets of 10, which is awesome. Hopefully gonna go to 120s next week, but yeah, that's enough talking. I know you guys are here for food, so see you guys at the next meal. Thank you. This is how much I have left to eat, and you're done and dusted. Honestly, mine started to fall apart too, so I, I, I couldn't put it down. So like, if just in my hands, I'm just gonna eat it. Look how fat this is, it just stays up on its own. Do you mind if I do? Please. Does it smell like lemon? A little bit. Oh yeah, that one's untouched. <gasps> it does. Is it lemon filled? All right, uh -huh. let's see. Sometimes you bite into it and it's just the cake part. Yeah. So I gotta really. True. Yeah. Give it your all. <laughs> Try your best. Is it lemon? Is it? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's oh that's very lemon filled. Mm. Oh. Is it good? Ooh. It's good. I don't know about that. That looks scary. Yeah, so we got. This is what Jack came. I with. used to not like lemon desserts, and then I grew the hell. Up. I yeah. do. <laughs> then I grew the hell up. We got donuts still kind of being picked over. We got Taglio's hot honey deep dish pizza. I can see the edge is like nice and crusted Detroit style, and we got some ice cream as well. We're not being healthy. We got. Let's see, Boldy Bearcat, which is Chris's pick. We got coconut, which is Katie's, and black raspberry chip, which is mine. So we're we'll digging into these, as well as the oh. pizza. And then we got Maisie back there as that well. That is pretty good. <laughs> this is not for you. Which one, which one did you have? Well, Chris. What is it? Cinnamon. Yeah. Oh, cinnamon. It's icing and then cinnamon and powdered sugar. Yeah, my favorite good. was the black raspberry by far, for sure. As I mentioned, we got our hot honey pizza right here. I'll admit, this is kind of a weak cheat day, um, as far as cheat days go, mostly because I have been bulking. I'm the heaviest I've ever been the strongest I've ever been, but also the fullest I've ever been. I'm just not super hungry. There are definitely some foods I still crave. Like, I'm not gonna eat the entire pint of ice cream. If this was a 10,000 calorie challenge, sure, I'd definitely be trying to down this, but it's something more like, I'm just gonna eat as much or as little as I want after I have the pizza. So calorie-wise, nothing too crazy, but as far as a cheat day, donuts for breakfast, Moe's for lunch, pizza and ice cream for dinner, I don't think it gets much better than that. Protein, no idea. Calories, no idea. Definitely not enough of either of those, in my opinion, for a full cheat day. But we're gonna go ahead and wrap things up here. We got the pizza, and once again, it is, I mean, it's a really good pizza. And it's that deep dish Detroit style. It's got a nice little cheese, like, crust right there. Take a bite. Take a bite, yeah, why not? Taste test. This is a really good pizza. I will say my favorite is the Rosas, but neither Chris nor Katie like the Rosas, so we're going with this tonight, which is no big deal. But ice cream wise, Grater is by far the best. Black raspberry chip, if you've never had this, they are still in Kroger. Like I found some in Seattle. I found this in Seattle. Really? In, in Kroger. So if you have a Kroger near you, or maybe I think what's the what's the West Coast? Albertsons. I don't yeah. Know. Albertsons I don't know. is like Albertsons is like owned by Kroger or Kroger owns out. I don't know. One of the two. But if you have an Albertsons or Kroger near you, definitely try to find this. Highly recommend. Black raspberry chip from Graders. Doesn't see that. But without further ado, we're gonna wrap up the cheat day here. Thank you very much for tuning in. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And as I mentioned, so actually this will actually be out before or after the cookbook. The cookbook comes out in two days, but probably it's been out for like a week or two by the time this video comes out. So I'll be first link in the description. 120 plus recipes, all that I've used over the last couple of years to reduce my calories, bring up my protein, and get a nice lean physique. So yeah, without further ado, make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. See you guys next time. Peace.